Dragon Kung Fu. Thanks for watching. Really do appreciate you watching the channel. This information is helping me as much as uh, everyone that watches this, because I'm still a beginner student in this. Uh, even though I've been doing this for almost three decades, actually over three decades now, uh, I'm still considering myself a beginner because I'm really enjoying these results of what's going on and I want to share them. So as a Kung Fu instructor, I'd like to thank you for watching these videos. And just the fact that you're even watching this uh, means you have some motivation. So I appreciate that. That being said, here comes my wonderful little animal, uh, Cody. My little Connus King from the Connus Star Group, Connus Major Right. He's a little wolf. He's a rescue. I've had him. I just wanted to acknowledge him as being a wonderful part uh, of this household. Myself and this guy right here. So, with that being said, today I'm going to be talking about the claw. Okay? Whether it be the dragon's claw, whether it be the dragon, whether it be the tiger, whether it be the leopard. Okay? Leopard. Tiger, dragon, okay? No matter which one we're using, we can all benefit from the strength of the fingers and that is the point of the claw. So it starts practicing like you're in a push-up position. You wanna start holding a push-up position or plank in yoga. You wanna start holding this for a long time, as long as you can, okay? And over a period of time, you're gonna have it enough arm strength when you feel confident not before when you feel confident you're gonna take your fingertips and try to sit on the fingertips in a push-up position just like you were gonna do a push-up but you're on your fingertips okay are you following me fingertip push-ups or holds I meant to say that holds first push-ups later not push-ups first slip of tongue okay once you can hold this for a while, if you can't hold it in the push-up position, you can drop your knees onto the floor. Find a nice surface that doesn't hurt your fingers, nice smooth linoleum, even carpet, thin carpet, you know, and practice sitting on your knees and trying to hold this position, right? You will find that eventually your fingers will get strong, okay? So as we strengthen our fingers, we need to make them flexible as well, okay? And the way that we do that is through stretching. I will be demonstrating finger stretches in another video that goes in tandem with the claw. But today I'm just talking about the benefits of the claw. So the claw is a metaphor for having a grip on you. And it goes to every level. So the stronger your claw, the stronger a grip you have in the world. But the grip is on you, not on others. The claw is not used for controlling other people metaphorically for controlling anyone's lives, telling anyone else what to do, imposing your will on other people. This is very, very low, low value human behavior, okay? But the metaphor of the claw, if we're conscious, teaches us to have a solid grip on ourselves, our behavior, and understand that we can have very rich, fulfilling lives if we just start working to bring those elements to balance in the body. So if you've been watching my videos, you're starting to understand this mission is about harmonizing the basic primal elements, earth, water, fire, and air. And this will create the fifth element, right? So the body will become electromagnetically charged. So on the claw metaphor, once enough strength is developed, you start picking things up, okay, to develop the claw. One of the things I've been using for years, these are props that they lift houses up on to move them with forklifts. They're concrete cylinders, they're 25 pounds a piece practice gripping. Now first you learn how to get a good solid grip on it and just feel the grip. Okay? Once you feel confident over a period of time, breathe in and lift. Okay. Okay. Now, I've met very few people that have ever lifted one of these on the first try. It took me several months to be able to lift these. I had to stretch my hands out. They were small. Another benefit of putting time into the claw. And I don't regret it. You know, while a lot of my friends were out, getting into a lot of trouble drinking, getting put in jail. I mean, fortunately, I 
was so fascinated with the stuff, I was just into it. Not to say I didn't, I wasn't mischievous when I was younger as well, but this is something that always stuck with me and I wanted to perfect it as a craft, always from a young boy into an adult. So now here's a skill that I feel like I've developed that I want to share. So you have nothing to lose by developing strength in the claw, right? Whether it's the tiger, the dragon, or the leopard, see? Clawing, gripping. The leopard grabs things one way, right? The tiger grabs things another, and the dragon grabs things another way, okay? So once we understand the claw, the metaphor becomes get a grip on ourselves and our reality. Make the world a better place. Electromagnetically charge your body and work for it because if you start doing the things that will allow that, you will create that charge when these elements are balanced. But once you develop this charge, it requires work. You have to maintain it because if your body does take on this charge and the things happen that I'm talking about, you have to work for it to keep it because if you start slipping, it will go away. You will see that charge diminish. It's all we've got. So remember men, try to focus on retaining that essence as often as possible, okay? Once again, whenever you can, try to save it. Let it build up, it's going to give you strength, okay? Just be careful and be moderate with it, that's all. It will help you, it helps me tremendously. So that being said, I hope this video has helped. If you like this, hit the like button below and feel free to please subscribe channel will hopefully be growing. Thank you very much. Secret Les Clements out. Take care.